What's up, too, Tom? What up, Ryan? Ryan, you that get monkeypox from going raw, bro. Oh, for real? Yes, if you go raw and don't drink Gatorade, you're guaranteed monkeypox, bro. Wait, wait, what? Don't drink Gatorade is crazy. Yeah, when you go raw, all you got to do is drink Gatorade afterwards. Facts. I always say that, like, after sex and your legs feel a little weak, you better start slamming Gatorade. Facts. G2? Get G2, you do anything. Yes. Just get your hands on some type of liquids. Facts. <laughs> don't let that shit. Don't let that shit keep going. You need to fucking fluid that shit out quick. Man, as soon as you go raw, especially if uh she over one k Instagram followers. Facts. Oh hey. shit, Ryan. What What do you think about Devin Haney saying the game been born without him? Uh, bro, I was uh like I said, bro, I was. I was laughing my ass off, and then I was like, should I even address this? But then it was just so funny to me, and I just just had to say some shit. Like, I, w- I, w- I would gladly beat his ass twice, you know? Um, like I said, I could tell the truth twice. I beat him easy, and like I said, they could watch me every day. They could watch me train. They could watch what supplements I take. They can blood test me every week, every day after training. They could have a camera in my training camp. They can see what my plan is. They could see, oh, I'm going to throw a left hook. They could they could know everything, bro. And this man will not beat me. I've I've ruined this man bad, bad. Damn. See, you. so you said you'll do drug testing every day just to prove. Why not? Damn. I would do it every day just to prove that I'm the better fighter. Um, he didn't beat me, bro. It's bottom line. He didn't beat me. He didn't get close to beating me. And uh, it's just, you know, it's it's just funny how Bill's continuing the same story that, you know, he's just trying to make it seem like I cheated and that that there's no way his son would have lost if I didn't take Austrian when we know I didn't. But I just got irritated watching the interview of Bill Haney. like On Cam and Mace? Whatever uh, it is, what I'm not even gonna whatever uh, podcast that was, yeah. I'm not gonna give them the clout. But um, shout out to Tom, go watch his podcast. But um, yeah, everybody's that's pushing that propaganda and that stupid fucking uh, narrative where I cheated is just fucking is is a goofball. They're goofs, they're sheep's, and they're goofs. And um, again, I would I would glad if they want to like. I think Bill Haney said something about civil court. I would gladly, gladly go to civil court, mm. proving my case that I never cheated and you're a piece of shit. And you just son got his ass kicked after you said your son was going to go out there and kick my ass. And then you also, I also paid you for the weight, but you're complaining about the weight. Mm. You said, clearly Devin said, the weight don't matter. Because right. Uh, it don't matter. There's levels to this game, you know. Whatever, whatever he said, and it's definitely that. Definitely now he's using it as an an excuse on how he took that ass whooping when he literally is the cheater in weight. And this is why he's become so hypocritical because he comes in 25 pounds over the weight limit and fights anybody that's that can't do that. And I knew he was going to do that, so that's why I came in heavier, and I, I knew I was going to have to gain weight because that dude is not a 140-pounder. He's at least a 54-pounder if we Damn. really put it down, or 47, but he's not a fucking 40-pounder. Damn. You know who helps him? Fucking Victor Conte helps him with all that shit. And we're, hey, why, how did, is, is uh, Conte, is he okay? Because uh, we haven't heard much about him. Because uh, when... When this was happening, he was the first one in defense of Haney, and it's so crazy how he started screaming like a little baby about everything and trying to prove that he that there was no funny business. But after this died out, we haven't heard nothing from him. See, a guy that uh, knows he did something is going to be the first one. Uh, no, I didn't do anything, uh, and he, now now he's quiet. Like where'd he go? Yeah, yeah. After that, like he he his Twitter account magically went silent. Or we could all have these theoretical you know, theories and, and all these, uh, you know, we could, we could imagine, you know, what's going to happen at the end of the day, the commission already made their decision. They did what they did. And I've been chilling ever since, you know, I try to rest my case. I hope I made a lot of clear points, but the people that don't want to see the truth, aren't going to see the truth. And the people that want to see the truth, they will see the truth. And I kind of learned that about life that I just want to gather people with familiar 
mindsets and familiar uh and, and not familiar but more uh like there's either people that want the truth or people that um cannot see the truth due to you know their hate or their envy or their jealousy or who they think they should back based on what society would think of them or what their what the culture would think of them you know right. a lot of people just have that type of mindset i'm more on the mindset of uh where's the truth at and everything else doesn't really fucking matter I like to be active, though. The, my main problem with boxing, or at least my boxing, is when I'm not active. Um, not that I get rusty. I just I don't have that same momentum, and I have to pick it up again. It's just annoying to pick up your momentum when you already have it. I'm in my prime. I felt like I felt my best fighting Devin Haney. And I was just getting better. You know, when I fought Duarte, I looked good, and then I got I looked even better with Devin, I felt. Um, some would say I looked better with Duarte, but... Oh yeah, with Dorte, bro, you was in your bro. Like that was that was like almost for like I think the best was Fortuna Ryan Garcia. Like that You right, think that one? Hell yeah, Fortuna. I was like, can't nobody <laughs> beat this dude. That Fortuna Ryan <laughs> Garcia different, bro. I, I um I drink a little bit of that camp. I didn't drink a lot though, but I drink a little bit. <laughs> but the the Dorte camp I didn't drink at all. I mean, yeah, the Dorte camp I didn't drink at all. Oh, okay. 